I, I happen to have my mother uh, actually passed away. She actually passed away. And if there is a message that I want to send to her tonight is I'm sorry. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's really sad, but I'm really sorry because I have not given you your rights. Um, somehow, somewhat, we were brought up in an in a environment where we lack the knowledge of the deen. Uh, and the knowledge of the rights uh, of certain individuals among us. Mm. And we start copying, um, you know, what we see in the society. Uh, your older brothers, your older sisters, how they treat your mom or your uncles and, 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 and so forth, family members, without knowing the weight of the mother in Islam. Mm. And after you explore that text, uh, the Quran and the Sunnah is filled, filled with verses and uh, statements of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam regarding the rights of the mother. And upon, you know, reading this, um, and I'm addressing the brothers and the sisters who, who still have their parents alive. They still have a chance. You still have a chance before it's too late. But the message that I really would like to send to my mother tonight is I'm sorry, you know. I wasn't uh, aware of. Uh, uh, my hope is really on, on, on وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ is, is mm -hmm. the lack of knowledge. Um, and that's where عُبُودِيَةَ الرَّجَاءَةِ yeah, That hoping in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would save me. But if, if you really judge your behavior and your attitude towards your parents in general, towards your mother in particular, and, and you measure that according to the text in the Quran and the Sunnah, you're a loser.